Hello, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Tuesday, October 20th, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thought out, thoughts out loud as I solve this. And if you'd like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Okay, Tuesday puzzle, here we go. Multi-Emmy winning actor whose first and last names start with the same two letters. Uh, I'm going to need some more crosses for that. Query is probably ask. Alan Alda. Yep, one letter sufficed, it turned out. Exam for some smart high school students. AP test, yep. Okay, punk rock offshoot, that's gotta be emo, right? Marijuana cigarette informally, and this is a starred clue, a spliff, I believe. Okay, start for a land in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Loompa land, interesting. Job to do is a task, good. Evidence is hunger, in a way, drools. I kind of like that clue, I don't know why. It's rare that you see that usage of the word evidence. It's usually like the noun, I like the verb form, evidence is hunger. Okay, so we just have one themer so far, still have no idea where this is going. Apron wearer is a chef. Uh, 911's in Panera, are these Porsches? Followed warnings is took heed. Okay, now we have two. Very nice section, by the way, with AP test, Loompa, Porsches, took heed. I guess that's the theme entry, but um, overall, I think uh, this is a well-filled opening section of the puzzle. And the opening section just feels more important than the others because it's your first impression of a puzzle. Word after ice or book. First impressions matter. Um, book thief and ice thief? No. What is it? Uh, chief? Uh... Was it? Disco stew. Ice. Book sheaf. An ice sheaf. Abound with his team. Red dolls made to be tickled at our elmos. Book shelf. An ice shelf. I don't know why that took me forever to see. Oof, I put sheaf. That was embarrassing. All right. If you prick us, do we not bleed? Yes. Red dolls made to be tickled are Elmo's. Okay, so took heed and spliff. Is there anything I can make out of this in terms of guessing the theme? These two entries don't have that much in common. Spliff is a short theme entry. I feel like I definitely need, definitely need more, a lot, a lot more to figure out this theme. So let's just keep chugging along. Salt St. Marie, all right. Now let's go up here. Dangerous plant to have around. Spy. Gotcha. One man show. That's true. Truman Capote. Attack from the air. Strike. A cyclops has just one. That's an eye. Rule at a self-service gas station. Hmm. Not sure. Materialistic sword. A yuppie. That's a good word. Musician's gift. Ear. What matching ends of magnets do is repel. Good. Is it strike? Uh, what's going on here? Posted inflammatory blog post is trolled. Interesting. What is going on with this theme? I don't know my mascots. Like Snow White among them all. That's fairest. Okay. Shocked is appalled. It's strafe. That's a word I don't see much. Prepay, gotcha. And appalled. Okay. So we have a couple of more theme entries here. Trolled and yuppie. Still a little confused. Um, all of them have double letters. This one has two pairs of double letters. Um, yuppie, trolled, and spliff all seem to have like a very colloquial vibe to them. Almost like um, invented words, like uh, words that maybe didn't exist um, a few years before they came into very common use or something. Just kind of guessing. But Tookheed doesn't seem to follow that pattern. I guess I don't know the origins of Tookheed, but I would assume that people have been saying this for a long time. So still pretty in the dark about what this theme is all about. I'm pretty curious. Pretty curious what's going on. Some dazzling designs, op art. I, almost, I wish I could figure it out. Yeah, that's a revealer. So I suspected. Am I going to be able to figure this out? Probably not. Sensors insertion is a bleep. Find a new tenant for his roulette. Okay. 
Maybe I'll read the revealer with few letters in place and see if I can figure out a little. Like goods that are temporarily out of stock or a hint alphabetically to the answers to the starred clues. Huh. Like goods that are temporarily out of stock or a hint alphabetically. Okay, so these are all... All these entries are in reverse alphabetical order. Check that out. All the starred entries are in reverse alphabetical order. So what is the revealer here? Ordered. Back ordered. There it is. Back ordered. All right. Nice, nice little Tuesday theme. I like it. Ooh, that's too big. Let's close that. Um, I like this. Letters on a party invitation. BYO. Slow and stately in music. Not sure about that. Gut course. Ikea's. What does gut course mean? Easy A. I don't think I've ever heard of that. E Oops. A gut course. Slow and stately in music. Is that Largo or did I make that up? Uh, gotta run. Crime boss is a dawn. Okay. Back order has been confirmed as correct. Not in time for is late to. Te amo. All right. Now the gloves come off. It's on. Collectible group? Not sure. When Hamlet says that's going to be either act four or act two. Early afternoon nap is a siesta. Alternative to an axe. Saw. Good. Poodle sound is an arf. Made dirty. Hmm. Not, not seeing it right away. Raw material for steel. Iron ore? Chewbacca is a Wookiee. How do you spell Wookiee? Uh, let's see. What goes here? Is there an H? Is it like that? Wookiee? No. Wookiee like that. That's what it is, and it's Act 2. Wookiee. Actually, the reverse alphabetical order helped me a, a tad with getting Wookiee, the spelling on Wookiee. All right, surgical tool, a knife? Is that right? One used to old habits. That's a nun. And then a knife. Okay. Like better is um, prefer. Places to which patients are rushed in hospitals. ERs probably. Um, Lahayam is to life. I like that. And then decorates on Halloween for short is TPs. I like that use of the word decorates. That's funny. Passover meals are satyrs and be fouled. Interesting. For sure, I see. Gotcha. All right. Collectible group. A set, I see. Shy is timid. That's Issa Rae. Power sources for some clocks are double A's probably. Long time film. That's um the MCAA. No, no. What is it? MPAA. Why am I forgetting this? Civil disturbances. Riots? Something you can pick up with your nose is an odor. Autonomous cleaner is a Roomba. A uh, Pharaoh and Ham, these are Mia's. School, another mascot, I don't know. Some Arabian Peninsula residents. Not sure. Uh, what is this? Count me among your admirers. I'm a fan. Ooh, Vardalos. Naya? Spoonful? No, no, can't be spoonful because that's not reversed alphabetical, it's spoon fed. Alright, I love when the theme helps you solve a puzzle. Guitarist Joe. Damn, I don't know this person. We workers are ants. Okay. Hmm. Saudis. Absent. Alright, and that was our Tuesday puzzle. Interesting theme today. Uh, not sure if I've seen anything quite like it. Um, I've seen themes based around alphabetical order. Uh, I'm not sure I've seen it done reverse alphabetical order. And this one has an apt revealer with back ordered. Um, so this is nice. It's a nice um, Tuesday theme. It's you know it's one of those themes that's really hard to guess without a revealer. Um, and 
oftentimes Tuesday themes are simple enough that you can kind of guess before halfway through, so it's pretty interesting to see an early week puzzle where um, you really have little hope of guessing the theme without getting a revealer. I think at least I'd be impressed if someone noticed that all of these were in reverse alphabetical order. The entries were pretty good. Um, it's an interesting quirk of these phrases. Tookie, yuppie, and spliff, and troll. These were all good, all good words. Roomba, Wookie, Spoonfed. So like, there's probably a list somewhere online of all the words that are in reverse alphabetical order. And um, Jeff Chen, when sitting down to make this puzzle, probably picked the most interesting words off that list uh, that could fit symmetrically in a crossword grid. And I think he picked well because, you know, Words that are in alphabetical order, they're unlikely to be very long for one, and they're unlikely to be super sexy words because it's a very strict restraint. Um, so the fact that uh, Jeff could find this many um, interesting words that fit this constraint is, is a good reason to make a puzzle around it. The fill was solid. It seems like it was leaning a little more toward um, cleanliness than Zest today. Uh, the two longest non-theme entries in the grid are Appalled and Befouled, and neither of those is a very fun entry in a crossword puzzle. And that tells me that uh, Jeff didn't want to make any sacrifices in the short fill. And the short fill was quite clean, so um, that, that I would say is accomplished, was accomplished. But we're not without any good fill today. Um, Iron Ore is interesting. Porsches is a very good entry, I think. Uh, and the nature of the theme, the fact that there are many theme entries strewn throughout the grid, they almost feel like normal fill as you're going. And the theme entries themselves are definitely the most interesting entries in the grid. So um, that, that kind of uh, made up for the fact that we don't have as much um, appeal in the long entries. I think my favorite clue today was the clue on teepees, just because I like this use of the word decorates. Uh, and when you get, if you didn't see it right away, then when you get teepees and realize uh, that this isn't, you know, putting pumpkins out on your stoop or uh, or little ghouls in your window, this is um, somebody else decorating your house with toilet paper. I think that's pretty funny. So those were my thoughts on this puzzle, and I'd love to hear what your thoughts were. And I will be back here tomorrow. I make these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times. And if you're new here and interested in seeing more of these, then clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch. And thank you so much for watching.